Inner considering is thinking about how other people act towards us, how they ignore us, how they treat us poorly, or perhaps even better than we think we are. We unconsciously repeat in our mind what they did to us, or what they forgot to do for us. We think we are superior to them, or perhaps inferior. It also takes the form of thinking that we do not consider another person enough, and that we should give them more attention. We can also interconsider the weather, society, institutions, and governments, taking everything that happens as if it were personally directed towards me. It accounts for so much of ordinary life and is the stuff of cinema and television. It is possible to be completely free from it, so it is also a kind of tragedy, a consequence of not remembering oneself. We are perhaps not even aware of it when it is occurring, so it needs some self-observation to find it. When I began to work on this in relation to specific people that evoked it in me, it actually intensified the inner considering. I then observed my relationship with the person and found that, at least sometimes, there was no inner considering. That showed that it was not an inescapable law, but depended on my state. In a better state, it all but disappeared. I also discovered that a method of overcoming it was getting the focus off of me, or me and them. Once I accomplished this, it became possible to minimize it. Inner considering can also be the source of feeling that we have to do something when, in reality, it is better not to do it. We may feel obligated from our discomfort around someone or from our social or cultural programming about what we should do. If we are able to start from self-remembering instead of inner considering, we gain the chance to act or not act based on the work. 